which is larger, 50 to the power 50, or 49 to the power 51. The question is wonderful. However, the numbers are stupid. Look, the left-hand side, 50, the base, 50, exponent as well. The right-hand side, the base is 49, and the exponent is 51. 49 plus 1 is 50. 51 minus 1 is 50. Exponential forms. So, we should consider to divide both sides by 49 to the power 51. So easy. So the left-hand side becomes, I'm going to write here, 50 to the power 50 divided by 49 to the power 51. And the right hand side is 1. This question becomes a comparison between these two numbers. The right hand side is quite clear. 1. The left hand side is the thing, the only thing that we should work with. So now, let's do some changements. 50 to the power 50, 49 to the power 51. We cannot change the basis since it is very hard. The exponents we can. We can write this 51 as 50 plus 1. So the denominator can be written as 49 to the power 50 then times 49. So it is 49 to the power 50 and then times 49. Therefore, you can see this 50 and this 49, they have the same exponent, 50. So then we can simplify it further. It is 50 to the power 50 divided by 49 to the power 50. This denominator, 49 to the power 50, belongs to our numerator. And then I'm going to separate this 49. Let it alone. Let it be alone. A good idea. So now, 50, 50, they have the same exponent. We can take out this exponent. Therefore, it is 50 over 49. And then all to bar 50. Then times 49, oh sorry, 1 over 49. This fraction inside the bracket is 50 over 49. 50 and 49, they have a special relationship. That is, 50 is 1 more than 49. So it can be written as 1 plus 49. So therefore, it is This 50 over 49, it is 49 plus 1 over 49. So then it is 1 plus 1 over 49. Therefore, it is 1 plus 1 over 49, then also part 50 times 1 over 49. To tell the truth, a problem is coming. We meet a problem. What is the problem? Please have a look at this section. 1 plus 1 over 49, also power 50. What is the problem? The base or the exponent? Maybe we want to say the base, because the base is so complicated. However, the answer is the exponent. The exponent 50 has a problem. A bad looking term, we don't like its form. We always like 1 plus 1 over n all to the power of n, this form. However, if we substitute 49 for n, the exponent is not 49, it's 50. So, what's the problem? The exponent. So how can we deal with the exponent? I have a trick. Look, we can separate 
a 49 from this 50. That means I can consider 50 49 plus 1. So it is uh, it can be written as it is only equal to 1 plus 49 all to the power 49 and then times 1 plus 1 over 49 and then times 1 over 49 don't forget. Now the problem is this guy. 1 plus 1 over 49, also part 49. It has the form 1 plus 1 over n, also part of n. So then, I don't know if you've heard the Euler's number e. If not, learn it now. The definition of Euler's number e, it is the limit. I'm going to write it here, okay? The limit of 1 plus 1 over n, also part of n when n tends to infinity. The answer is e. What's that? It's a letter. Now it's a number actually. What is approximately equal to? It is approximately equal to 2.718281. Ninety, forty-five, and so on. It is irrational. It is so complicated. For this question, this method is a piece of cake. It is very easy to understand. Why? Please have a look. E is approximately equal to 2.718. It is, of course, smaller than 3. That's the only thing which is important. It is smaller than 3. Whatever it is, 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power of n, it is always, 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 always smaller than 3. It is always smaller than 3. So this part, it is smaller than 3. So our last step, it is of course smaller than 3 times 1 plus 1 over 49, it is equal to 50 over 49. And then times 1 over 49. Calculate, calculate. Now, I'm going to remind you, please don't calculate. 50 over 49, it is greater than 1. This is not the thing that we should work with, but this one. 1 over 49. It is smaller than 1 over 6, I'm going to say. Of course, obviously. For 49 and 6 are both the denominators. And 49 is greater than 6, so 1 over 49 is less than 1 over 6. Very good. In the end, it is smaller than 3 times 50 over 49 times 1 over 6. And here you can see 3 and 6 cancel. So the answer is, uh, here is 2. 2 times 49 is the denominator, and the numerator is 50. And this answer, 50 over 2 times 49, is equal to 50 over... 98. So the answer is, of course, smaller than 1. The answer is smaller than 1. These five terms, they all equal to the left-hand side. And the left-hand side is smaller than this, smaller than this, which is equal to this, and smaller than 1. Here is smaller. The left-hand side is less than the right-hand side. So here, if we multiply the both end sides by 49 and times 51, we can get the right hand side is 49 to the power 51, the left hand side is 50 to the power 50. And the answer is smaller, less. The right hand side is much, much greater. This is only one of the methods. This is a beautiful method. However, it is only one of the methods. Certainly, there is also another method called binomial expression. We can also deal with this question quickly and successfully. Have you got it? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me please, and give a thumbs up for this splendid question. We we'll see you next time!